Good Monday morning, everybody. I hope everybody's week is starting out great. We had just a bit of a scare this morning, uh, but luckily we have backup systems in place where we actually print out route schedules the day before. Our scheduling system was actually down first thing this morning, but we've always had backups in place where we, um, the, the day before, we actually download the entire route schedule. So we weren't going to have access to any of our electronic uh, invoicing, but we'd at least had the schedule, and we'd have gone the old-fashioned route with old paper invoices. Luckily, before we even got to the first job, the scheduling system came back up, so all is good there. So, um, you know, we thought we were going to have a hell of a Monday here at the start, but everything kind of squared itself off. Um, today, uh, we had a good little debate on social media this weekend on uh, uh, advertising. And the uh, and and all the, the advertising was it was in a it was in a Facebook group. There was a one of the uh, ladies uh, that's a member of this group, and she does SEO. And uh, I don't believe she does any pay per click. She might do pay per click, but she does just some SEO and and uh, social media advertising. And I don't know how many junk removal companies she works with, but she is a member of this group. And we responded to a particular message. I don't remember how it started, but it was talking about pay-per-click. And, and, you know, I kind of gave in some input on how pay-per-click advertising works and all. And she came back and said that uh, what you have to remember is pay-per-click is short-term. And, uh, you know, I just I was like, what? Come on, you can't be, you know, what kind of, you know, bad advice is being given here? And, and I'm not doing this to belittle her, but um, I, I did respond to make sure everybody else understood uh, that what she was saying in this case was incorrect or misguided. And I was also trying to correct her so she wasn't giving out uh, bad advice um, from uh, that point forward. So um, if, if you do any type of advertising, why are you going to quit it? You know, how is pay-per-click short-term? If you start out on pay-per-click and it's bringing you in work, why all of a sudden, once you rank better on organically or, rank, or start doing Facebook ads and your ads begin converting, why are you going to stop doing any of it? So, it, you know, one thing you do not, well, there's a lot, the, the, the biggest thing, the biggest mistake people make on when they do budgets is they budget their advertising. You shouldn't have a, I'm not going to spend more than $3,000 on advertising this month. There shouldn't be a cap on it. You should have an idea of the percentage that you want to be around. And obviously, you've got to have the, enough money to pay your bills, but other than that, there shouldn't be a budget for advertising. It could be a percentage, that a range you want to hit. But at that same time, you have to have a budget that is fluid enough, that can change enough, that if you hit on something, if you hit on a form of advertising that's working, you go ahead and you do it. So I'll give you a good idea, uh, a good example here. Our partner, we have a partner in uh, California uh, that works with us on, we manage his ads campaign. Um, we didn't build his website, uh, and, and we're currently not doing any SEO with us, but, but as good as we, job we've been doing on pay-per-click, he might come around. He's going to be watching this video, too. He might come around because I, I know we can raise him up in, uh, on the ads rankings, too. But he's super, super stoked because he just landed a, for almost a $45,000 job for a hotel. Uh, it was a hotel. I can't remember the other. I know it was a hotel clean out. I can't remember the other. The other um, uh, building he was cleaning out, but it was a it was a project. It was a privately owned uh, company, but um, they were renovating the stuff, so they're gonna they're gonna it was gonna raise property values and probably employ more people. So the government actually gave him a grant as well. So he's having to deal a little bit with the government on this, but he's got a forty five thousand uh, dollar job. That what's significant about that is we've been doing his ads campaign, and he's spending I don't know a few thousand dollars a month um, on, on ads, but he's only showing fifty percent of the time. So we were looking, and, and um, we've, his cost per job was good for this prior month. His cost per contact was good this prior month. Everything looks good. So we called him in, uh, the morning. It was, uh, I think it was Friday morning, maybe in Thursday morning. We called and said, hey, Ivan, this is what's going on. You're hitting your daily budget every single day. So, you know, you're only showing like 50% of the time. So, you know, you got X number of jobs. Um, last month, your cost per contact was this. Your cost per job was this. The numbers are there. You should. This should be pretty profit. You know, decently profitable work for you. Let's go ahead and bump that daily budget up some. Let's just bump it up now. And get you into that seventy percent uh, range on on time shown. Let's see where you're at. Let's see if that cost per contact stays the same. Cost per job stays the same. And then let's. Uh, if it does, let's keep on raising it up. We need to get you to hundred percent because you did great and you're only showing fifty percent of the time. Most likely, if you double your budget, you're going to double the amount of jobs you have. Um, 
the very same day that we raised up that daily budget, he gets a call in the afternoon, probably the time he, he would not have been showing had that, but had we not raised that budget that day, and he landed a $45,000 freaking job. So just unreal, outstanding, happy form. This guy, he's, he's, a, he's a risk taker. Oh, man, he's a risk taker. He, he, uh, he takes some big swings. He's been busted and bloodied up a few times, and, um, you know, just like I have. You know, I've been busted up and bloodied up and a couple black eyes, you know, and just, you know, uh, you know, just broken, broken down, but you just, uh, you, you take a little, you take a little pain medicine and, and, um, you know, you just start kind of healing up and, and, you know, you don't get stuck down. You don't get stuck where you're all, all beat up. You come back from it. And, and he's, uh, if he keeps taking these big swings and he still stays resilient, it's going to pay off. This is his first, I mean, major hit right now. Now, uh, and that came from advertising. Now, I don't want to go off on too big of a tangent here. What he's got to be careful of, and this is something we, we talked about over the weekend, is he was talking about turning off his advertising while he does this big job. And I, I told him, I said, well, let's, let's think about this because you've landed this $45,000 job. It's going to take you two weeks. Well, if you turn away, um, I don't know, let's just say 10 k a week, he'd be some, somewhere around there. If you turn away 10 k a week for the next two weeks, you've given up $20,000 in work because you've been focusing on this job and maybe some of those customers can, can, can go out. Let's say 50% of them can go out. That'd be high. He's still giving up $10,000. So all of a sudden that $45,000 job is a $35,000 job immediately. And then you also got to think about the long term value of that potential customer he's turning away. So the potential referral, potential review, potential repeat business, he's giving it to a competitor. The competitor's going to get that business. He ain't going to ever going to get it. So if you get those big jobs, you can't turn away work to accommodate that big job. You got to rent a truck if you have to. You got to get some temporary help if you have to. You got to hire more people if you have to. You got to do whatever it takes to get the job done without turning away work, short-term work, smaller job work that's got to get done. If you turn away that work, your bigger job has become smaller. The only way he landed that job, though, was because he was shown. He got attention. He got advertising. He was doing ads. He was up top. Those, those people, they didn't skip the ads and go down organic search results. Yes, uh, somewhere around 60 to 70% of the people that do a Google search skip the ads. They go all the way down to organic search rankings. They either go to that three-pack. A lot of people skip three-pack, but they go to that three-pack or they look at the main organic results, and they're looking at the top six most people looking at the top four results um, organically. So if you're shown in ads, if you got your ads going, if you got Google ads, it's, it's hard for me not to call it AdWords. If I uh, pay-per-click, we'll call it pay-per-click because ads can be a lot of things. Paper, you know, Google changed their name. If you're in pay-per-click, if you're in the three-pack, and if you're in organic top four results, you got a hell of a shot at landing that customer. Uh, but, uh, and then... Let's expand. This is where, where, where she's, she was misguided. She said, all right, pay-per-click is short-term. No, it's not short-term. And then she said, well, social media, she went on our website, and she saw where on SEO, where it says for SEO, and we don't have anything on social media yet. We're, we are about to start off offering social media management, but we're not quite there yet. But um, she was looking on SEO, and she said, well, you yourself and your website say 60 to 70%, I think it's a 60 to 70% on there, of um, people skip ads and go to organic. I said, yeah, that's that's a hundred percent correct. But you're missing out on thirty percent of your potential. Why would you cut off thirty percent of your jobs just to uh, save a little money? And and her response. And if she, I don't I don't know if she watches these videos or not. Maybe she's starting to now that she's been on our website. But her response to it was um, that a lot of people can't afford the uh, can't afford doing social media ads and SEO. I was like, yeah, 100% correct. You're not going to be able to afford it until you start it because you're not going to have business. If you Advertising is something you got to have faith in. you got to get out there. you got to spend that money at, in order to actually be getting the results back in. If you don't spend the money, you're not going to make the money. If you don't make the money, you're not going to have – you're not going to be able to afford the advertising. So this word afford, a lot of y'all need to get rid of the word afford out of your vocabulary. You need to get the word expensive out of your vocabulary. You need to look at stuff in terms of value, in terms of how much money it can make you, and base your decision on whether or not you're going to do it based off the potential return, the potential value. Fuck the amount of, you know, the amount of money it costs. It doesn't matter. If you spend $5,000 on something and it brings you in $500,000, who gives a shit about the $5,000? It, it doesn't make any sense. Um, you're budgeting things that you shouldn't be budgeting. And those of you that are going out there and you're spending $289 a month on social media, or, or not social media, on uh, search engine optimization, um, they're, they're robbing you blind. 
they're robbing you blind. Yeah, maybe they got on there initially and they got your rankings to increase a little bit. And, but, but what they're banking on is the fact that two eighty nine a month, it's such a small amount that you're not going to pay attention to it. So at two eighty nine a month, dude, you couldn't – think about yourself. You sit there and, um, you know, well, the, uh, the amount of work that goes into doing SEO correctly, the expense that goes into doing SEO correctly is way too high. At two eighty nine a month, they're banking on you setting it and forgetting it. You might be concerned. They might work a little bit in the first few months, and then after that, you think they're going to they're just forget about it. That ain't right, guys. It's not right. It's too small of an amount. If you got some companies charging fifteen hundred or five thousand a month for SEO, I can guarantee you those companies are a hell of a lot better than somebody at two eighty nine a month. You're going to get better results. You're going to get be higher up. You're for more keywords. It's going to bring you in more business. You need to stop thinking cheap. You need to eliminate expensive and eliminate affordable from your vocabulary. Those two those two words right there. If you have those two words in your in your vocabulary, the chances of you making it, the chances of you becoming wealthy, the chances of you building a big business are significantly less. Like almost I mean you have almost no shot if all you're always thinking about is 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 expensive. That's too expensive. That's too, not affordable. You got to look at the value is going to bring you on the other end. Um everybody, every single one of you should make a commitment to, if you're not doing AdWords, to start Google Ads. And ads is something you are going to get burned on if you try and do it on your own. I recommend a small budget, if you'd like, attempt it on your own. Google's going to call you up. Google's going to act like your best buddy and say, hey, I'm here. I'm going to help you manage your campaign. Guys, Google has $37 billion in every quarter in revenue and growing. $37 billion. Of that, about 90 percent of it is Google ads. Those those people ain't advisors. Those people you calling up and acting like they're your best friend, they ain't your advisor. They're a salesperson. They're a salesperson. They are there to drive up revenue. Yes, they're going to give you strategies that's going to lead to more clicks. Um, but all that's doing is lining Google's pockets with junk removal because if you're getting a click on garbage collection, that's just, you know, for every one junk removal customer that searches garbage removal or trash removal or garbage collection, there's 50 trash removal customers. So that means if you're paying $10 a click, you're paying $500 just to have a one potential um, AdWords customer. And then if you look that on us, about one out of every three or one out of every four clicks we get convert to a job. That means uh, that, that, that what that means is you're spending almost $2,000 to get one junk removal customer that could just be a minimum job. So you might be spending 2K to get 100 bucks in advertising, or in, 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 in revenue. And, and, and that's the kind of stuff we've eliminated. So we have a campaign. I will go out and I'll say it 100%. There is not an average company out there that's gonna run a junk removal campaign better than we are. And why am I so confident in that? It's because we've been, we have our own business. We've been doing it for seven years. We're managing campaigns now for about 10 people, 10 or 12 people throughout the country. You're just, it's, it's not going to be better. We're seven fifty a month on, on, on pay-per-click advertising, but that's going, it's not between the money you save from wasted ad spend and the increased revenue. It's going to, I mean, it's, if you go out there and you find somebody and you pay them 250 a month, a month to manage your ads campaign, and that'd be low. It's hard to find somebody to do that. Um, I mean, we're going to make that up, more than make up from between uh, our extra cost between save, saved, the amount you saved, and the increased revenue. So everybody needs to make a commitment to get started on pay-per-click if you're not doing. If you're doing pay-per-click, um, you need to get your campaign refined. You need to have, you need to eliminate all the bad search terms, the thousands of bad search terms you need to eliminate. That way you can really focus your budget, and I am using the words budget here because in this case, um, there is a daily ad spend. You need to be focused that daily ad spend on the keywords that are proven to convert to jobs, proven to convert. And you need to increase, once that happens, you need to increase your daily ad spend because the work you're going to be bringing in is going to be profitable. Those of you that are not doing SEO, you got to get on board on SEO. You got to drive up that main keyword, junk removal, whatever your city is. Then you got to get hot tub removal. You got to get um, shed demolition and removal. You got to get those other keywords moved on up. Hoarder clean out. You got to move them on up. That's revenue you're leaving on the table all the time. So you got to start your SEO campaign. Next three months, next three months. And those of you that are not doing Facebook ads, you need to start out on a small 
daily spend on Facebook ads. You need to target it. Um, if those of you doing Google ads, if you're doing Google ads with us, we're able to, and Google ad, or in Google ads with anybody, they're able to tell you your most common customer. What I'm going to warn you is if you don't have a very specific ads campaign like we've got, like we offer, then uh, that, that could be... Um, those results you get could be stimming. It'll actually profile your your visitors and tell you these are the customers that um, are going to be best suited for you. You take that data from ads campaign, you go over to Facebook, you build out that campaign for Facebook, low low daily spend until you start getting jobs in, then you start increasing it, and then and then you start doing ads aimed at other different uh, other different sections as well. And if you do that, you're running three places, then you're going to be doing great. Three, four years from now, that ad, your, your advertising percentage, expense percentage of revenue, is going to start dropping below 15% two, two, three years out. That's when you got to start radio advertising. You might think about doing TV advertising. You're going to up your social media budget. You're going to get out there. You're going to get known because advertising is your key to growth. One thing you got to remember, pretty much every form of advertising out there is going to work if you do it often enough. And if you do it for long enough, those two things right there. Some stuff is going to work quicker to lead to immediate jobs. Some stuff like radio is going to be more branding. It's all going to work if you do it long enough and if you spend enough on it. You got to have faith at the start. If you have faith in the system, if you've got some, if you've got a little courage to get out there and get known, then you're going to be extremely successful. Advertising, the internet advertising and a professional website are three things that I don't care if you're brand new. If you hit those three things perfectly, that within months you can be getting as much business as some some cookie that's been operating for, for 10 years that just hasn't has never advertised. So if he's never advertised, if he hasn't set up much of a website, you know, if he just looks like an amateur, within months you can be doing the amount of business he's doing because you look more professional. People don't hire people because of their work anymore. They hire, the people hire people based off your web presence and your advertising. That's how they hire you. Get that right and you're gonna kick ass in, in, in any service business you're in. Do it wrong and uh, you just need to go work for somebody else. There's too many people competing at the bottom, you need to compete at the top. If you're gonna com compete at the top, get out there, go after it, otherwise go to work for somebody else. Hey guys, you can check us out at junkra.com, that's junk removal Authority. Dot com 919-617-1975. Those of you that aren't doing AdWords, I you know, you need to be calling me. You got you get you need to be picking up that phone and calling. You need to be contacting us and getting your ads campaign set up. We're gonna set it up right. We're gonna monitor it. Nobody else is looking at the amount of jobs you're booking. No other ads campaign company out there understands junk removal like we do. We're gonna be checking out the jobs you book, we're gonna be checking out your cost per contact, and we're gonna be telling you what's worked for us. We're gonna make it work for you. 919-617-1975. Look forward to talking with everybody here soon. We'll be back before you know it. Y'all have a great Monday and a great week. Thanks, guys.